spicy special fried rice let's make it If this is your first time coming across this channel, you're most welcome. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Today, I'm going to be making special fried rice, Nigerian style. Well, special fried rice is a twist between using um, Asian spices and Nigerian spices, if you get what I mean. So in front of you here are the three eggs, we have the chicken. I'm using two chicken breasts which I'm going to wash in a minute. I'm using some, I'm using both the light soy sauce and the dark soy sauce. And I'm also going to be using sweet chili sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, ground black pepper, a tiny bit of complete seasoning. That's to season my chicken. Bouillon powder, then let's talk veggies so for veggies i have one onion i have some mixed veg the frozen one trust me this is as fresh as you think the fresh one trust me because any veg that has been frozen just know that it's the best quality veg that you take you know sometimes when you go to the market and you try to buy buy veggies and the veggies are looking really really wrinkly and old and battered and bruised you don't want those ones so which is why with frozen you can never go wrong and i'm also using a bit of uh, scotch bonnet pepper here yeah, i know you're thinking mm, special fried rice why is she putting scotch bonnet well i'm an african and i like my chili so that's why i'm also going to be using a bit of um spring onions i'm using both the green part and the white part another thing i'm going to be using obviously for my because this is a stir fry i'm going to be using a bit of wrap seed oil um i think that's it and also for the salt i'm supposed to be using salt but obviously because i'm going to be putting soy sauce soy sauce has salt so i'll see how it goes if if i put the soy sauce and it doesn't need this then i will not put this so we'll see how it goes so i'm going to be um washing all my veggies chopping the ones that need to be chopped washing my chicken chopping it into strips and i'll be back so i've gone ahead and chopped the onions the garlic the pepper and the spring onions as well as the green and the white parts and this is how I've cut my onions in strips. Cut it like this. This is how I cut it. And this is the eggs that I'm going to be using. Three eggs. So now I'm going to season the chicken I'm going to use. So that's our chicken. That's been washed and dried. I dried it so it's not too much moisture in it. So the first thing I'm going to do Let's put some onion powder. Let's put the high body. Just put some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. Then some complete seasoning this is a complete seasoning but it doesn't contain garlic and ginger powder which is why i put those as well so for the complete seasoning i'm just going to put a tiny bit not much at all like this bit because what i don't want to do is over season it and then also you know soy sauce has 
salt so i'm not going to be putting too much of bouillon i'm putting half a teaspoon and that's it i'm not going to put salt because remember i said that i'll be putting soy sauce so i'm going to be giving that a mix I'm going to leave this to marinate for just 15 minutes and the rice that I am going to be using for this stir fry I already boiled it earlier so it's cooled down it's not extremely hot and that's the rice I'll be using for my stir fry guys I already boiled it hours ago and it's just cooling down it's actually cooled it's just warm it's not really hot so that's what I'll be using. The reason why this plate is here because that's what I'll be using to scoop the rice into the wok. So let's start cooking. So that's the wok I'm using, guys. Let it get hot. Then we'll come back. So I'm going to be putting a bit of oil. I'm just going to let that get hot. While I put my chicken in. So the oil is hot. So I'm going to put in the chicken. I'm going to cook it to the cook, properly cooked. I don't want half cooked chicken, it has to be properly cooked. So you can cook. So as you can see, the chicken is cooked. I'm gonna add my pepper, my garlic, and my onion, and saute it to be soft and translucent. I'm just gonna leave that to saute, then I'll come back to it. So let's check on our onion. I want it a bit softer, so I'll leave it for another one or two minutes on a low to medium flame. Now let's check on it. Now I'm going to put my meat in. It's got carrot, broccoli, and cauliflower. So I'm putting the veggies on the top because I don't want them to be too um, mushy. Now I'm going to put my egg. I'm going to leave it to be set for a bit before I start mixing it together. I'm going to cover it for 30 seconds so the egg can set and then I can mix it together and start adding my other spices. So now I'm mixing the egg together and then I'm now mixing the chicken, the carrots and the veggies, the onions together. Now I'm going to add the rice. If you wanted to eat a very healthy veg, veggie omelette, obviously by all means this is it, but this is not what I want to make. So I'm going to add the rice. I'm going to turn it off first so it doesn't cook too much. And I'm going to add my rice. I'm going to add it a little at a time. I don't want to add all at once. I'll add it, then I'll mix it, and then I'll add it, and then I'll mix it. As you can see, I'm mixing everything from the bottom to the top. So everything is combined. 
I'm going to add some more rice. And then like I did before, I'm just going to keep mixing it. Then later on, I will, I will add the soy sauce and the sweet chili sauce. Oh, I am going to add my dark soy sauce. I'm going to add. Because remember, I didn't add salt. So this will be my salt. I'm adding three soupspoons. And I'm adding my sweet chili sauce. One, two, three, actually all of it. Because this is a lot of rice. So I'm gonna give that a good mix. And then I will then add my light soy sauce. So what I'm looking for is a dark color. So I'm just gonna leave that to simmer on very low heat, the lowest heat possible. For about five minutes. So everything can be incorporated. Then our special fried rice, Nigerian style, will be ready. So that's the rice guys, it's ready. I've tasted for all the seasoning, for the seasoning is complete. I don't need to add any more salt, the salt is fine. I'm just gonna add my spring onion. And then for 30 seconds, then I'll be switching it off, but I don't want it to overcook. So guys, here's our special fried rice with chicken, veggies, eggs, spring onions, and various spices. I'm just going to give a little taste. Mm. The aroma coming from this wok. Mm. You know, let me not just say anything, but it cannot be described. And that's our rice, guys. Mm. That's delicious. Um, basically, I put my own twist on it because normally when you're making normal, traditional, um, special fried rice, you don't put scotch bonnet pepper, you don't put a bunch of spices that I put, but this is my own take on it, you know, if it's version of it. So I will not call it authentic special fried rice because it's not. It's, it's basically special fried rice made my way. So Nigerian way, I use Nigerian spices, which is scotch bonnet pepper, bouillon powder, uh, all purple seasoning, things like that. And then I also use the Asian spices seasoning, which is soy sauce and sweet chili sauce. So that's it, guys. So guys, if you like this video, please give your girl a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video bye